Hey, it's me and my uh, my lopsided hair again. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, I told you it always ends up going to the left. I don't know what that's all about. It wasn't like that when I started out today. Uh, today is day 23 of my 31 days of gratitude challenge. I am entering the last week and it's been a great journey. I'm going to sum up the journey at the very end. So, uh, but I am, I am, I'm realizing some things and it took me, it took me a while to get to the realizations about some things. Um, in the beginning I was, I was doing it because I said I would and as time has gone on, I've been surprised at things that have, have shown up. So I will, uh, I will do a summation at the very end of the 31 days, maybe on the 31st day, maybe on the day after that, but a summation will come at the end. Today, I am grateful for being present. This is a piggyback of sorts on yesterday's where I, I realized that some days are just like a big to-do list. And I thought about that throughout the day and throughout the night, and I thought about it again today. I took some me time yesterday. I, I went to the gym. I had a good workout. Um, I really did not even attempt to be productive because... I get caught up in being productive, you know, in, in, in my daily life, there's always this list of things to do. And like, I don't even watch TV, just sit and watch TV without doing something else. To me, it feels like a waste, a, a waste of time to just sit and stare at the TV screen. So I'm always multitasking whenever possible. I'm multitasking. There's some things that, that, that I have to give my full attention to. But if I can get away with doing two or three things at once, I will do it. I should... That's hard to give up. It's, it's really hard. Uh, it's hard to give up. You know, I, I have friends who've asked me, how can you do that? And I know there are a bunch of us. There are, I, maybe you, <laughs> multitask also. But um, I have friends that... One, they are so focused on one thing at a time and, and seeing that one thing through. That may be the way, I don't know. I don't know if that's, I don't have all the answers. I'm, I'm working through this myself. That may be the way we're supposed to live. If, if, if we're supposed to live any particular way, I do think that I need to be more present in my life and involved in what is going on in the now as opposed to preparing for what's coming down the road. But I don't know. I don't know that I'm willing to give up multitasking. All right. I don't, I don't know where that came from. I was just trying to tell you that yesterday I, after I did my video, I uploaded it. I didn't do anything else productive I did however uh, I enjoy making things and being creative that's my escape when I'm able to paint when I'm able to make jewelry when I'm able to just just create something so I made myself a pair of pants last night <laughs> I had picked up some fabric from the garment district and it's been here plus I have some other fabric that I bought like last year maybe even a year ago and I haven't made anything in a while so I made myself a pair of pants. I want to give a shout out to Pink Chocolate Break. They, uh, uh, she, she, she has a wonderful YouTube channel also. I'm going to put a link to her. I followed her tutorial. I made myself a pair of Palazzo pants. I bought a black pair of Palazzo pants. Uh, they're jersey knit fabric. They go with everything. They travel well. They have been all over the world. <laughs> they just, they're, I love them. I bought them in 2004, right before I was preparing to go to Aruba. And I've been wearing them and wearing them and wearing them. And, and they're still, still going strong. I know at some point they're going to fall apart on me, but guess what? Now I got another pair. Those are black. 
These new ones are teal. I will take a picture and I will I will post it at the very end of the video. I'm so proud of my pants. Um, so that's what I did last night. Now I also watched. <laughs> I told you I multitask while I'm watching TV. I, I gave myself a catfish marathon. So so while I was making my pants and texting other friends that were up at three, four in the morning, uh, I, I was also watching catfish. <laughs> and, uh, so I went to bed about five this morning. I got up at like 10, 15 because I had a Skype meeting at noon. I, um, I did my meeting. Got my shower, uh, did some stuff around here, and then I, I had to go and, and help another friend with something. Uh, went to the gym, came back, and and here I am. I just got, oh, I, I left out the most important thing for today is I did meditate today uh, after I got back from the gym. I know. It is said that it's ideal that you meditate in the morning to set your intention for the day. I believe that's true. I'm going to have to work my way into that one because what happens is I wake up and my first thoughts are, what do I have to do? Like what has to be done right now? And I'm not one of those that's wide awake mentally when I first wake up. It takes me about, it takes me, let's say about 35, 45 minutes, maybe an hour to just ease into the day. So I'm aware that there are things that are going to be coming at me or maybe already people, you know, get up early, send me emails and stuff like that. Well, I've been up, if I'm up till five, I'm not up at eight sending emails to people. So I have to catch up. And... I would find it tough even for 10 minutes to, to, to meditate. And honestly, I think if I sit still for 10 minutes after just getting up, I would probably go back to sleep. So I need, need to get up and eat, get into my day and, and, and just get up and start moving and stuff like that. So I have to get meditation in where I can, but I am committing to meditating every day. Uh, I do realize that it's a it's a muscle that needs to be exercised. It's a it's a new habit that needs to be formed, and really, the way you form a habit is by doing it. Repetition, repetition, practice, repetition, practice, repetition, and so uh, I'm I'm gonna do that. After the meditation, I I feel good. Like I just I just finished right before I started this video, and I feel so much I feel so much calmer. I feel so much. Uh, more peaceful, so much more present than I did before. The things that need to get done still need to get done, but I don't feel that same sense of, oh my God, I didn't do this. I didn't do that. Oh, you know, what, what's going to happen if I don't get this done? Oh, oh, that thing that I was supposed to do the other day, I didn't get it done yet. What, what's going to happen? It's going to be okay. That's how it's, <laughs> it's going to be all right. It's not going to, whatever that is, is not done. I am not a brain surgeon. It's not going to kill anybody and uh, <laughs> it's going to be okay. That's really, that's how I feel after, after meditating. Um, that's it. I know that was a long and winding road. This is where I am right now. Nicole J. Butler living truthfully and this is uh, day 23 of my 31 days of gratitude challenge. Now... I do have some things on my to-do list that I need to get to, but uh, I'm just, I'm much, I'm much calmer. I'm much calmer and not, not frantic like I usually am when I'm looking at all the things that need to happen. Yeah. And I'm not, I am sticking to my statement yesterday that I am not picking up anything new. Okay. I, I'm, I'm sticking to that. I mean, if Steven Spielberg calls, you know, sister got to yeah. Got to do her thing, but other than that, anything that's non-essential, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it to myself. Uh, I am just going to take care of me. That's what I'm gonna do. 
Thanks for coming with me on this journey, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, May 24th tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.